My mom taught me that love is a powerful tool. She taught me that love heals wounds, mends hearts, and comforts and brings peace, and that a mother's love can change the world. As I was growing up, I watched my mom. I saw her work through hard situations. She always rose above and loved more than anything else. When I had my first child, I remember the overwhelming sense of love that overtook me when they placed him in my arms. It was a feeling I wasn't prepared for. This little boy was mine. I was his mother, and I felt it. There was no doubt in my heart that I would give up my life for this little one. For the first time ever, I knew what it meant to feel a mother's love. The mother's love I felt only grew with each new child that joined our family. A mother's love was fierce and unwavering. It truly knows no bounds. As I looked at my three young children, I knew none of them, no one on this earth could love them more than I did. Shortly after my third son was born, I found myself a single parent. My husband of seven years had divorced, and I was now alone with my three very young children. My life had been turned upside down, but the lessons of love that my mother taught me came to my rescue. The love I had for my children gave me strength to conquer the many tasks I had at hand. It made those lonely nights not so tough. It made those hardships worth it because I loved them. Weeks passed and my ex-husband called. We talked briefly on the phone and then he hesitantly brought up a subject he knew that would be tough for me to hear. He had a girlfriend and they probably were going to get married. He would like to introduce the kids to their future stepmom. With a lump in my throat, I invited them over to decorate cupcakes the following Sunday. I hung up the phone and I dropped to the floor, eyes full of tears. My heart and my head filled with emotions I could not control. Sunday came all too quickly. I was getting ready for them to come over, going through outfit after outfit, trying to find one that was just right. I was so nervous, it was really ridiculous. More worried about what I looked like for the children soon to be other mom than anything else. I made cupcakes. I bought icing because I knew I would mess it all up if I tried to make it a good buffer for us to have cupcakes. Sorry. The conversation soon turned when they entered our home. The conversation had a lot to do with cupcakes. As we frosted cupcakes, I couldn't help but think, are my, are my kids going to call her mom? Is she going to be good to them? How is this all going to work? I had already received advice from acquaintances about the stepmom. Stand your ground. Let her know that you are the mom and she is not. Make sure that your kids don't call her mom because she is not their mom. You are. Our first meeting was filled with lots of fake small talk and racing thoughts. And then they left my ex-husband and his new girlfriend, and all I could think was, if this girl had moved next door, we would have been best friends. She seemed fantastic. But how could I love her? How could I share my kids with another woman? I was their mom, and no one feels for them what I do. Time passed, and our meetings became less awkward and more genuine. I allowed myself to get to know and truly listen to this woman who is now my children's stepmom. Late one night, I found myself really thinking about how much I loved my kids. I thought about how often I would say and think that I would die for them, the ultimate sacrifice to give up your life. Then it hit me. If I would die for my children, then I could put my pride aside for my children. I could put my pride aside and love, forgive, and accept their new stepmom. I knew this would be what was best for them. I knew this would benefit them in so many ways. The mother's love I felt for each of my children grew that night as I made the resolve to not only love my children, but to love their new stepmom as well. Now I am happily remarried with two more children. Life is good, and I could not imagine raising my children without another mother by my side. Yep, another mother by my side. We attend soccer games, school events, singing performances, everything together. We share a Google calendar, call one another to express our frustrations and successes of the day. We share pictures and discuss our hopes and dreams for each of our children. When we are at an event, our kids will never have to decide which parent they will sit with. 
or who they are going to let down. They know we are together. My children also know if they do something they aren't supposed to, not only do they have to answer to one mom, but they have to answer to two. We communicate and express our feelings to one another, and no one is a stepmom. We have done something that is not commonly accepted. I am often asked about the kids' wicked stepmom, and more often than not get a weird reaction when they find out that we are friends. When asked why we get along so well, the answer is simple, a mother's love, and yes, I believe not only with all my heart that it's not only my mother's love, but also the mother's love that she has for my children. This hasn't always been easy. Every day we make a deliberate choice to nurture this unusual relationship, even when others don't always know what to make of it. One day while attending a soccer practice, of the first soccer practice of the season for my daughter, another mother from a team came up to find out who we were. We introduced ourselves as Kiki's moms. Making no distraction, <laughs> yeah. Making no distinction between the two of us, the woman looked at us blankly and walked away. At the next practice, another mom came to us up excitedly and said, we are so happy to have an alternative couple on our team. I gave a puzzled look and she said, you and your partner, we are so excited to have both of you here. I couldn't help myself. I burst out laughing. I explained though that I would happily marry my kid's other mom. She was already married to my ex-husband. <laughs> and I was happily married as well. This woman then a little embarrassed admitted she would never have guessed that we were mom and stepmom. She said, you both look too happy. We share a love that is powerful for our children. I know she is a true mother and I respect her as such. My life has been greatly blessed because of the love I have for her. This road was a road that was chosen and not one that is well-traveled. We may hit some bumps, but I know my kids will make it through because they have two mothers who love them. Two mothers who would put their needs before their own. Two mothers who would do, give their life for them and two mothers who are willing to put their pride aside and love. My mother taught me the power of love. Love heals wounds, mends hearts, comforts and brings peace, but a mother's love can change the world. As my children have learned, their lives have truly been changed forever because they enjoy the love of not just one mom, but two.